Now the first step is to restore global settings in NVIDIA control panel. So NVIDIA card user, you can go to desktop, make a right click on the desktop, go to show more option and then click on NVIDIA control panel. Now once NVIDIA control panel is open, you can go to manage 3D settings. And then over here you can see restore option, click on restore, click on yes. And once the restore is done, hit apply over here. And once you hit apply, once this is done, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to disable integrated graphic card. Now for this, make a right click on the start menu and then go to device manage. Expand display adapter. Over here, if your computer has a dual graphic card, in my case, it's Intel uh, integrated graphic card and NVIDIA. So you can disable this until the integrated graphic card make a right click and then click on disable device once this is done you can launch the game this has worked for many players so it might work for you now the next step is to try this in launch option now for this you can copy this command this command is provided in the video description copy this and then go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and in the launch option you can paste the complete command now you can close this launch the game and then check Next, still not working then you can disable HDR now for this you can copy this command this command is also provided in the video description make a right click properties you can try this in the launch option and then check if that does not work you can even try dash DX11 launch the game and then check still not working type in dash DX12 launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to Perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue. And then select custom option over here. By default express would be selected. Select custom and then click on next and then you will see the screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box so type in graphic settings and then go to graphic settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder so in my case the game is installed in this location so go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on add now scroll down and find the game in the list once you find the game click on the game and then select over here select high performance you will see your graphic card over here select high performance and then you can launch the game next step is to roll back graphics driver now for many users, rollback has worked, so you can try this. You can go to NVIDIA website, you can select your graphic card, select the right operating system, then click on Find. And then you can click on More, View More Version. And the latest one right now is 576, 576, sorry, 576.28. Uh, Five seventy two dot eight three, and this has also worked for many players. So you can try this. If that does not work, you can try this one five sixty six dot three six. But when you launch the game, if you receive a prompt which says uh, update your graphic card driver, just click on play and then you can check. You can ignore that and click on play and then check. Next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now for this, you can go to Steam make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder and then make a double click over here 
make a double click launch the game if that does not work make a right to go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work you can put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game still not working then you can try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work disable full screen automation hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program now for this open windows settings go to privacy and security and then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app and then click on browse all apps and then select the game exe file and then click on open similarly if you are using any kind of third party antivirus program allow the game exe file to antivirus program now the next step is to verify the game file for this make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to unplug all the external devices like external monitor. Like if you have multiple monitor setup, you can unplug all the monitor except the primary. If you are facing problem with primary monitor, then plug in the second monitor and then check. Next step is to do not overclock. If you have overclocked, then set it to default. Close all the overclocking application like MSI Afterburner, Revert Unit. Disable Steam Overlay. Now for this, you can make a right click on the game, select properties, and then if the option which says go to the general tab, if this is on, enable Steam Overlay volume game. If this is on, you can turn it off and then check. If you have any other overlay application, like if you have Discord running, Nvidia app running, make sure that you close the Turn off the overlay or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. Now for this copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here you will see Visual Studio files. So you have to install this x86 and x64. So download both the exe file and then you can run both the exe file. If you see repair option click on repair. If you see the install button hit install run it install both the files if you see install button hit install if you see the repair option click on repair run this x64 and x86 version again if you see install hit install if you see repair click on repair click on yes to allow and then once this is done you have to restart your computer restart is your must after this after the system restart launch thing now still not working the next step is to Now the next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case, it's 16 GB, so I will calculate as per 16 GB. So, and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So, we will open calculator. So, type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16. 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So 1 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. 
now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 into 1024 i have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total ram so total ram is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 491515 491, now click on set over here then click on okay okay apply okay okay now restart computer make sure that you restart the computer after this now the next step is to update the system bios so go to your system manufacturer website select a model number and update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is connected with the uh, battery is more than 10% and the ac adapter is connected when you update the system bios after the bios update log into the computer and then launch the game next step is to unplug all the external devices so your motors wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected if you have any extra controller connected disconnected disconnect multiple monitor if you have any third party services or application running close it if you have undervolted the computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so if nothing is working you can just uninstall the game now after you uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to any external drive like d drive or e drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel